Hi, in the pot, O4B, Hardest Trial, continuing the reading straight from last time. A love flame had been kindled in his soul, and he was brought to face the sorest trial of his life. He could not sleep, nor eat. Thoughts of the maiden came. They would not go. His carnal nature called aloud for her companionship. And then he said, Lo, I have conquered every foe that I have met, and shall I now be conquered by this carnal love? My father sent me here to show the power of love divine, that love that reaches every living thing. Shall this pure universal love be all absorbed by carnal love? Shall I forget all creatures else and lose my life in this fair maiden? though she is the highest type of beauty, purity, and love. Into its very depths his soul was stirred, and long he wrestled with this angel idol of his heart. But when the day was almost lost, his higher ego rose in might. He found himself again, and then he said, Although my heart shall break, I will not fail in this my hardest task. I will be victor over carnal love. And when again the maiden came and offered him her hand and heart, he said, Fair one, your very presence thrills me with delight. Your voice is benediction to my soul. My human self would fly with you and be contented in your love. But all the world is craving for a love that I have come to manifest. I must then bid you go. But we will meet again. Our ways on earth will not be cast apart. I see you in the hurrying throngs of earth as minister of love. I hear your voice in song that wins the hearts of men to better things. And then in sorrow and in tears, the maiden went away and Jesus was again alone. And instantly the great bells of the temple rang. The singer sang a new, new song. The grotto blazed with light. The Hierophant himself appeared and said, All hail, triumphant Logos, hail. The conqueror of carnal love stands on the heights. And then he placed in Jesus' hands a scroll on which was written, Love Divine. Together they passed from the grotto of the beautiful, and in the banquet hall a feast was served, and Jesus was the honoured guest. If that had been that, there would have been no Miriam ring. What things Miriam went through after that heartbreak, we have no idea. But maybe his words that said their ways on earth would not be cast apart gave her enough hope. And in the second year of Jesus' ministry, there was an episode well recorded in the Bible Gospels, but even better told by Levi in the pot next time.